Hello YouTube, this is the first inaugural video of my channel Life of Brian. I'm about to take out the 2021 Lotus to go running with Garrett, so hopefully I don't crash or get a speed to speak Again, this is the 2021 Lotus um, in terms of the specs and whatnot. I'm sure you guys can Google or do a quick internet search and find all that stuff out. Again, this is a car channel for guys that are not really car guys, but love driving cars, if that makes sense. So just a quick look of a car. I think it's a really, um, really striking design, very unique. You don't see a lot of them on the road and uh, you definitely turn heads. It's a blast to drive and uh, I will actually get in and show you guys that now. Open the door here. Okay. Not not too bad. Pretty easy to get into relatively for a, an exotic car or supercar or whatever it is that this thing is classified as, but what most people don't know is these cars do come with a back seat. I uh, frequently... Sorry, I don't know why it's so... Uh, get a better shot later, guys, but... There is a back seat back there. Throw the, the kiddos back there. Um, yeah, let's start it up. Hear how she sounds. Got to take my hand off to do the start engine. So there we go. Always press the uh, button there to open up the exhaust. Sounds really good. And uh, yeah, this is uh, one of those cars that doesn't get a lot of love. You definitely do not see a lot of them on the road. Um, I saw one YouTube review. Where, sorry, as I was saying, uh, I saw one YouTube video review out there where they're kind of comparing it to a um, what was it? What the second generation. NSX should have been um, in terms of drivability, in terms of how nimble and and uh, how uh, how it handles. You know, having never driven the uh, second generation NSX, but I do have a first generation. Um, I can see that. Um, you know, layout's very user friendly. This whole stereo unit gets a lot of crap, but you know, hey, it does the job. The stick shift is awesome, very smooth, kind of like a very, you know, like a bolt action sort of deal. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a blast to drive. I could actually go run some quick errands right now and uh, get back with you guys shortly. So how does the Lotus Evora drive? Well, very well. Uh, obviously, if you're into manuals, save the manuals. It's an excellent, excellent car. Um, it's one of those cars that feels a lot faster than it is. I think it's something like 400 some odd horsepower, something supercharged V6 that goes in the Camry. But again, this is not the channel for those specs or that information, guys. I'm just trying to keep it uh, very bare bones in terms of the car jargon because, quite frankly, I don't know any of that stuff. But again, um, the car just it's a blast to drive. I, I'll compare it to my uh, 2011 um, BMW 1M, which is also a stick. I know these cars can come in uh, automatic, but why the hell would you do that, right? Um, here, I don't know if you guys get a better shot of the uh, back seats, but yeah, I mean, you can fit, you know, as long as you're not taller than four foot five, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great little engine, makes great noises, the car turns heads. It's very nimble, it's, it's, uh, it's a great handling car. It's one of those cars I compare it to my uh, my 12C. I have a uh, 2012 MP4 12C or whatever 12C is what the name is now. And um, it's a very, this is a very easy car to drive. Like I don't know if you guys have ever gotten into a, you know, a supercar or a hypercar or whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. Lambo, Ferraris, a lot of times they're kind of intimidating to drive because you got buttons everywhere and it's dual clutch this and that and you know you're like am I gonna stall it or you know what the hell is that flashing but it's just this car is very much like the uh, the 
the NSX I have. It. I also have a 2003 NSX, and it's literally like uh, it's like driving a, a Honda Accord or a Honda Civic. Of course, it looks a lot cooler. Same thing in this thing. You just get in. You know how to drive a stick. Just go. Um, and the MP MP4 12C whatever, and this uh, car I would definitely say are my two easiest driving uh, supercars. Again, I don't know if this is classified as a supercar. Quite frankly, I don't care. But um, you know, from the outside looking in, people are like, oh, you know, it's a is that a Ferrari? Is it a you know, blah blah blah. And again, it's just a blast to drive, super easy to drive, and that's why I love it so much. And um, yeah, let's get headed to where we're going. As you guys may or may not have noticed, I, I, I'm holding my phone, actually. Um, I don't have a mount yet, so hopefully I don't crash and kill myself, but uh, that is coming uh, on Amazon tomorrow, so hopefully all future videos will be free of shaking and um, turbulence. But um, yeah, the car is just, again, it's, it's super, super fun to drive, easy to drive, easy to handle, great visibility. Um, you don't really feel that you're in a... I had a uh, Lotus at least for a couple of years and that thing was like, you know, barely a car. Um, it was like getting into a clown car or a toy car. Uh, that's just not really usable. Um, no space, pretty cramped, pretty uncomfortable. Incredibly, you know, bare bones, stripped inside. Um, you know, it had, its, it had its little quirks and obviously but um, this is definitely something that you can live with. It's nice leather interior. Things feel nice to the touch. Again, everything's laid out very nicely. And uh, yeah, just a really, I think these things sold or actually are still selling when I got it for about a hundred, a hundred thousand. Um, again, I got this in 2021, so the last year it was made. I only have like less than 6,500 miles on this thing. Uh, I've had for like, I think a year, year and a half about. But um, yeah, I mean, I know they have, Lotus is going electric with the uh, after the Amira and uh, you know, last of the, uh, the uh, proper gas powered uh, engines. So yeah, I mean, if you can get your hands on one of these, I think bang for your buck, can't beat it. Again, it's a hundred thousand, which again, it's nothing to sneeze at. It's a lot of money, but I think. Oh, before I forget, so these things do kind of get a reputation for maybe not being the best uh, in terms of quality, quality control. Let me go ahead and pan over to to the hand made. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but these things are supposedly hand built. And um, when I actually got the car, the AC didn't work, which I was like, oh well, that's the great thing about owning a Lotus. Um, I remember I was pushing the seat back, that seat, and a piece of plastic just flew off. Um, you know, other than that, uh, the um, driver's side window f wouldn't roll up for four or five days, but everything got fixed under warranty. Um, if you're owning it out of warranty, you know, definitely something to consider. Again, there's some, you know, quality control issues, which again kind of goes to things that are made by hand or in small batches. Lotus, I don't think, sells many cars, uh, although maybe now they do since they they got, they got taken over by a, a Chinese company or something like that. But, um, you know, you can live with those things. If, if this is definitely if this is a second or a third car, you know, can't go wrong. It's, again, great bang for your buck. It's a head turner. I've only seen one other of these in Houston, where I live, and uh, you just don't see them around. Give you a thumbs up. Jay Leno loves these cars. If you go check out his YouTube channel, he absolutely loves these cars. So, and uh, if you get to drive one, you'll see why. So, we just got to the gallery, guys. Gonna run a quick errand, pick up something for the wifey for Christmas. But tell me if I'm wrong, but you guys walk away from your car, you don't turn around. I take a look at it. I think you, you kind of got the wrong car, right? Again, this this car, this shade of orange, is just pretty famous. So again, just a uh, quick exterior shot. Get all the way around here. I think that's probably one of the best angles. But yeah, let me go run this quick errand, and uh, I'll be right back. 
errands are done. Walking back to the car. Always try to avoid malls during the holiday season, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This car is great for, uh, as long as you don't have like a ton of things, you know, not hauling lumber or big boxes or anything. It can carry a good amount of things. So, here. it's got a eh, decent sized trunk. open. Sounds a little, okay. Let's try to open it this way here. There's a, uh, where is that darn thing? Here we go. Again, remember, it's a, uh, it's a Lotus, so a lot of times things don't work. But, you know, little bit of storage space. There's the engine. That mighty supercharged Camry V6. And uh, ready to head back. So we're back on the errands. Again, here's that 2021 Lotus. Quick shot of some of the other cars I have here at the garage. My 1M, Bentley Super Sport, the uh, Porsche. So. A lot more content to come. Hopefully you guys like it. Please comment below, hit the thumbs up. As always, please subscribe to support the channel. And uh, any suggestions you guys have in comments, again, please leave it below. I'll definitely take a look and see what I can do to make these things more interesting for you guys. Until the next video, take care. See you guys then.